Now I'm bringing Zena into it because we're getting to the most graphic part of the whole talk. The subject is prison gang rape. Again, why am I getting into these gruesome things? Because the drugs lifestyle is so glamorized, but they don't show what happens to the young people when they get busted. The old cons are checking them out when they walk through the door. They call them the fresh fish. They're pre-selecting who they're going to rape. This doesn't just happen in prisons in America, it happens in all over the world. It happens in the female side as well. In Arizona, the females shoved socks inside of socks until it became a hard object, and that's what they used. Now, when Zena came in, it was tw over 20 years ago, he didn't look like this. He was a young person, he was weightlifting, bigger than, much bigger than this, and he clicked up with the gang as a debt collector, and it's blood in, blood out, and he crossed the gang, and I'm going to read an actual conversation of what happened to Zena. The first time was a gang rape. That he beat me up, stuffed things inside my body, beat me until I was unconscious, raped me while I was unconscious. What did they stick inside your body? A broomstick. How do you know if you were unconscious that they raped you? When I had to go to the toilet afterwards, I could tell by what came out. What did you do after being raped? I sat in my cell for two weeks, waiting for the scars to go. I got moved, but the same thing happened. They beat me up, raped me, used me afterwards as a sex toy, a prostitute, a punk. How come no one would help you? You can't snitch and the guards won't even believe you. Did you think about killing the people who did this to you? I thought about killing myself first. I wanted to, I still do sometimes. At this point, Zena started crying and he couldn't answer any more questions. But he came back later in the day with more information. And I said to him, have you got any advice for parents whose youngsters are in prison for lesser charges? Marijuana, drunk driving, does this mostly happen to youngsters? Yes, it does, but it can happen to anyone. I've seen it happen to big dudes, skinny, even the ugliest people in the world. People who come to prison who aren't street smart and don't understand the mentality of ghetto life, they get preyed on the most. How did you stop it? I took the abuse for as long as I could and I started fighting. I won most of the fights. When I stood up and told them I didn't care about getting killed, it stopped. You've got to be ruthless. You've got to be ruthless. That's understatement. Zena hadn't told me the truth as to how he'd stopped the gang raping business because he didn't want to risk getting any trouble for what he'd done. Zena was studying anatomy, the human body, and he came up with an idea. The next two times the gang came to rape Zena, the first member of the gang to put his hand on Zena. Zena plucked his eyeball out, eyeball dangling out on the optic nerve, and Zena saying, I don't care if I live or die. That's what it took. Now, there's usually someone worse off than you in the prison system. And at the same time, Zena had a friend who was gang raped. Then they held him down. They took a light bulb, shoved it in his backside, and smashed it while it was in there. He had another friend who was gang raped and decapitated. They held him down, cut his head off with a shovel, which is not an easy thing to do, and take some time. When the head was finally off, they took it and they put it in an area of the prison where the rival gangs would see it to make the point that they were the most violent and ruthless out of all of the gangs. These guys looked at me as a visitor to the world of my little sentence. They were all serving decades and the stories they told me just blew my mind. That's why to this day, I put the stories, I continue to put the stories on the internet.